Hello and welcome to this screencast on sending SMS with Python programming language. In this tutorial, I will show you how to develop a Python application for sending bulk SMS messages online using the Twilio SMS messaging API. With just a few lines of code, your Python application can send SMS or MMS messages to any mobile phone network worldwide. First and foremost, pause this tutorial and read a note first by clicking this link in the top right corner of the screen. In order for this lesson to work successfully, you need to have performed the following. First, create a Twilio trial account. Second, set up your Python development environment. If Python isn't already installed on your system. This video shows how to set up a Python development environment on Microsoft Windows 11. First, sign up for your free Twilio trial account. Twilio gives you a small preloaded balance to test out Twilio's functionality. You will not be charged for Twilio phone numbers or usage until you upgrade. To send an SMS, you will need a phone number from Twilio. On your trial account, you can get one free phone number. While in trial mode, you must verify any phone numbers you wish to send SMS messages to. This is an extra security measure for trial accounts that they remove once you upgrade your account. You may verify as many phone numbers as you like. You can use either your Twilio number or a verified caller ID as your from number. Remember, you can only send messages to verified phone numbers when you are in trial mode. Review your SMS geo permissions to make sure the target country you are sending messages to is enabled. Before you send an SMS, you need account SID, auth token and Twilio phone number. They can be found on your account dashboard in the Twilio console. To send your first SMS, you'll need to have the Twilio Python helper library installed. The easiest way to install the library is from PyPy using pip, a package manager for Python. To do this, click the start button and then open up the Windows terminal. Now, first, upgrade the pip package manager by simply running this command. And then install the Twilio Python library by running this in the terminal. You should see something like that during installation. Finally, install Pillow by running the following command. Pillow is the Python imaging library. I'm installing it to send a picture in a message. All required packages have been installed. Close the Windows terminal. Next, we shall create a project or workspace folder for storing project-related files. Open the Windows File Explorer and go to the drive of your choice. Now, using the File Explorer toolbar, create an MP folder called SMS Balloon or any other name. Now from the Start menu, open Visual Studio Code. From the Visual Studio Code file menu, click the Open Folder command to open the SMS Balloon project folder in Visual Studio Code. That folder is now our workspace. Visual Studio Code will store settings specific to our SMS project in that folder. From the File Explorer toolbar, select the New File button on the SMS Balloon folder. Name the file smsballoon.py and it automatically opens in the editor. 
In the next step, we are going to create GUI and give functionality to our application with Python script. Open this source code file and copy everything. Now, go to Visual Studio Code and paste the code into the smsballoon.py file. Anytime you send messages through Twilio, you'll need credentials such as account SID and auth token. You should use Windows environment variables to keep your credentials secret before deploying to production. Let's set the two environment variables next for the safe storage of our credentials. Copy this first environment variable name. Next, go to the Windows Environment Variables dialog box. In the Environment Variables dialog box, Click on the Advanced tab and afterward on the Environment Variables button. Now, create a user-specific variable by clicking the New button below the user-specific section. Create a new variable with the name my underscore account underscore SID and copy your Twilio account SID value from the console. You can go back and watch step 7 again of this tutorial to learn how to find your account SID and auth token values. Similarly, from your source code, copy this text, my underscore auth underscore token. Again go to the environment variable dialog box and create another environment variable with the name you copied from the source code. Now, press OK on the Environment Variables window. You are all set now. To test if it worked, open the Windows Terminal. If you have the Windows Terminal open already, make sure to restart it to ensure your changes are applied. Inside the command prompt, execute the following command. This should print the value that you saved in the Environment Variables. Also, update the from phone number with the SMS enabled phone number you got from Twilio. Let's test the SMS balloon application by running it from the VS Code ID. In case you see this error, just restart Visual Studio Code after setting environment variables to ensure your changes are applied. After restart, let's run the SMS application again. Next, open the web browser and navigate to the iEmoji website to insert a few emojis into the SMS text. We shall continue the lecture, but the little puppy wants to say something to you. Let's listen to him. <coughs> 
Remember, to ensure the deliverability of SMS messages across the globe, use an internationally recognized standard phone number format. Before sending an SMS, let me first connect my mobile phone to the PC using the Windows Phone Link application so that I can show you the message that will be received on my phone. Finally, click the send button to send the message. That's it. In a few moments, the recipients should receive an SMS from your Twilio number on their phones. The message has been received. Let's see it. Here is the message. Let's try an MMS message with an image URL now. To send an MMS, first click this checkbox to add a picture to this message from the URL below. If you change the picture URL, you need to uncheck and recheck this box again to update the picture. Now click the send button again to send an MMS this time. In just a moment you should receive a text message with a picture. Here is the MMS we sent a few seconds ago, this is what it looks like. Note, if your carrier doesn't support MMS, maybe the image is received as a clickable link in the message. Before I end this tutorial, let's send one final MMS. You have now successfully sent some messages with the Twilio SMS API and the Python helper library. I sincerely hope that this tutorial helped you learn a useful skill. Take care of yourself and your this channel as well. Goodbye.